Pi r squared gives you the area of the circle. But where does pi r squared come from? First, we'll draw a circle and fill in its area. Next, we will divide it into large equal parts and arrange them in a rectangular formation. As you can see, it barely resembles a rectangle. So next, we will divide the circle into small equal pieces and we will arrange them in the same manner. You can see that it appears more like a rectangle. So if, if we divide the circle into even more smaller pieces, you can see that every time the shape becomes more like a rectangle. So how small must we divide a circle before we can get a perfect rectangle? Well, we can keep on dividing the circle into small, smaller, or the smallest pieces you can make. But the answer is to divide the circle infinitely many times until we cannot distinguish the lines, and eventually the circle can now become a perfect rectangle. So, the area of the circle is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is equal to base times height. The height of the rectangle, as you can see, is the same as the radius, so height is equal to radius. To find the base, we need to look at the circumference of the circle. And when we compare the base and the circumference, we can see that the base is equal to one half the circumference. Remember that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. When we combine it with 1 half, the 2's cancel out, and base is equal to pi r. So now, base times height becomes pi r times r. Combine the r's together, and we have pi r squared, which is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is equal to the area of the circle. So pi r squared can be used to calculate the area of any size circle that exists.